Hi there, um, Scorpios. This is um, your uh, weekly reading. I'm just gonna clear up my little, clear up my space a little bit here. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna start with um, your bird messenger card. Um, this is the blackbird message. The magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now, Scorpios. Okay. This is what the blackbird feather looks like. And I keep thinking of the song, um, black, the blackbird song from the, by the Beatles. Um, and I don't know why. I just think maybe, maybe that song is meant for you to listen to. So, um, that's your, uh, bird message. Um, so we're now going to be moving into our mermaid messages. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of just like the basic, um, Celtic cross card spread. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be, um, uh, elaborating on that, um, like in, uh, in more further, uh, details. Um, so we're going to be starting with that. So just give me a second to prepare. I'm going to use a, like a combination of cards. Um, I'm going to be using the pretty basic standard, uh, writer cards. But I'm also going to be using some Cosmo cards and I'm also going to be using some Gaia cards as well well and then we'll finish off with um some messages some more messages from like the true love messages and like we're just gonna go with the flow <laughs> we're gonna just go with the flow here we're gonna just see where the road the road takes us just hold on one second all right so i kind of like just doing like a little bit of like a combo read here um for you um, just because there's so many just like messages, so many like interesting cards, and I just feel like today is a day to just mix it up a little bit. Alrighty. So the first card that we have is the significant card. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down. The significant card here. This is healing. Okay, this is a message from Gaia, the dreams of Gaia, and this is a message of healing for you right now, okay? So I see a man with, you know, long blonde hair, um, possibly Celtic, Viking heritage. Um, he's a wise man, you know, he's a very powerful man. Um, he does have some magical elements, uh, to his, um, persona. Um, you know, you can see he is, um, well prepared for traveling. Um, he's, he has his belt with his, um, like pouch here with like the feather he has some uh stones he has a necklace uh with um a little satchel possibly like some sacred items in there um long cloak robe here so i think he he's a wizard of some kind a healing wizard um he also has this um like a golden snake here with the star symbol here and a, a staff so he has a lot of magical healing powers within him also i see the frogs here so um these frogs uh to me symbolize um a time of rebirth and rejuvenization um you know they're by the water um i don't know their um, specific meaning. Well, look that up. But this is a time of healing for you. It's very significant that you take time to heal right now. I'll move it over here. <laughs> um, so, um, card number two. Okay. So this is the card. Um, so basically this represents any obstacles that you're dealing with right now but like in a favorable favorable way so kind of just like you are dealing with obstacles you know but it's good for you to like take it take it with a grain of salt mm. so yeah mm, yeah that makes sense okay <laughs> so let me show you okay 
So you're at a crossroads, okay? You're crisscross, applesauce. Um, you know, I see the moon in the background, two of wands by water. So you prefer, you might live by a beach or a source or body of water. Um, it also can symbolize, the water can symbolize um, water signs, um, you know, tides coming in. Um, you're, you're blind to... You're blind to this this situation you're facing right now. You don't want to look at it. You don't want to face it. You don't want to to go with, uh, through it. Two swords could also mean uh, two possible choices to make here. You know, in the one hand you have the one choice, in the other hand you have the other choice. Um, but it's it's kind of hard to fight blind, wouldn't you say? Like it's it's not easy to fight blind. So you need to go into whatever challenge you're facing right now, and you need to remove the blindfold. You need to remove this blindfold that you're wearing right now because you do know that you do have two different challenges, and you need to overcome them in some form or shape of way. And you are a healing soul, so you're gonna be able to do this. But we're gonna find out more specifics as to how exactly you're going to be able to come overcome these challenging times um because it looks like you're facing two two obstacles here um so the third card is um the crown okay this represents the ideal matter uh what you want what you want to make your own but it's not it's not happening right now it's not happening right now because you have these obstacles that you need to face the first you have these challenges that's why it's not happening right now but let's find out what the crown is oh yes yes queen okay goddess power right a hundred percent okay this is a wise woman this is a very intelligent very wise very smart very powerful woman okay kind of getting like maleficent vibes owly maleficent vibes from this this is all about your perception one sword we don't need two swords. We don't need five swords, okay? You need to be able to hold your sword. You need to be able to stand in your power. You need to be able to take off the blindfold. It's okay to put on a mask, like a cool badass mask, like with this owl mask here, with the third eye chakra. Here, I'll let you take a closer look. Blackbird. Didn't I, didn't I say that the blackbird had a message for you? And look, here's like the goddess of blackbirds, okay? She's like the queen mother of blackbirds, right? And she is standing in her power. This is all about perception, right? Because if we look at our obstacles and we say, oh no, how are we ever going to get through this? Oh no, what are we ever going to do, right? Change your perception, changing your perception is key here in order to get healing in order to overcome these obstacles all right so we have the fourth card and this is what's beneath you so this has to do with basically like what's beneath you like you don't want to stoop to the lowest of low, right? You to overcome things, to overcome challenges. And I'm sure that if there's people in your life who are stooping low and causing you these obstacles and challenges, you want this to be over and done with. You want this to be below you. You want this to be in the past. So let's see what's going like into the past here, okay? That's going to help you with this. Yeah, see, we have um, we have picking up the swords, picking up the pieces. So the swords are, are, you know, these other people have given up. These are your challengers here, these two challengers with the two swords. And they've dropped their swords. They've surrendered to you. They're over with. It's done with. Whatever, whatever obstacles and challenges these two, obviously, I think it was like two men, I think, were fighting with you. And you're just one guy trying to get through it. Or girl, you know, a gender fluid fluid here okay so i'll just go with guys right talk some slang here so these two guys basically were fighting with you they were arguing with you this guy's like oh man i lost that big time yeah you did buddy so they surrendered they dropped their swords but you still you are you now have three th five swords okay you have five swords and how many swords do you see here right you have one right then two three right Okay, <laughs> alrighty, and then you have the two swords surrendered, You all right, so you have five swords all together, okay, so the battle is won, you've won this battle, you're coming out stronger than before, you have more swords than before, which swords are basically just like, 
power, you know, like you, you have your weapons um, on you, you know, you were ready for the battle, you know, you had the, the right idea about this going in, okay? Your ideals were aligned, okay? Because your perception is your ideals, how you see the world. And you had the right idea, you had the right ideas, you had the right perception of this. And this is why you were able, able to overcome your battles and come out victorious, okay so that is the five of swords and then we have the sixth card which is so this is basically like what is what is facing you on right now like what is currently coming into action what and what's gonna like what's gonna be operating here like what's gonna be going on here right so ooh, we have faith Wow, faith is coming in for you. The blue heron is coming in for you. The 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 phoenix wings, the phoenix rising. Okay, having faith, having the wolf here, having the sea turtle here. Again, by the sea, I see you're in nature. Um, I see a beautiful woman holding a flower. She's a young, youthful woman. She's holding out a flower. Could be you, could be someone you know, just holding this flower of like faith and hope and, and and all that is good and beautiful in the world. And this is what's coming to you now is having faith. Having that perception that faith is coming for you. That you're going to be um, faithful to to yourself. And to this, this healing um, part of yourself. Okay? So that's the faith card for you. And then we have here the seventh card. This signifies yourself and your attitude to this whole thing what's your attitude ace of wands you're loving this you're you're acing it right you are holding the key to your future you are holding the key to your destiny the key is within you the key is you you just have to believe in yourself you just have to have faith in yourself you just have to believe that you hold the power to your future to creating your best most wonderful future for yourself the ace of wands and Look, here you are with your healing, right? And here you are with your wand, your healing, ace of wands. You have the ace of wands here. This is your ace of wands. This is your magical staff slash wand, right? Because wizards, they have these magical staffs like um, Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Like he didn't have a little tiny little wand, right? He had a giant staff because he was just like this huge powerful being right that needed a staff that turned into like projected magic right and here you are with your ace of wands you have the ace of wands you have all this healing inside of you you have all this magic you're coming up all aces basically like you have it you have the power within you okay and that is the truth okay of the matter um this is um your attitude on this the eighth card signifies his house, his environment, and the affair, the influence, people, and events about him. So, you know, whatever this obstacle was that you were facing, whatever this challenge is that you were facing, um, that is, this is basically the card that is signifying your environment. What is your home environment, okay? What is your, your whole atmosphere all about, right? Oh, wow. The sensual. Ooh. Look, she's wearing key earrings. She's got keys on her earrings. Are you seeing this, Scorpio? Like, she's holding these keys for you. I feel like she's there on your side, the sensual. Okay, let's look in like, like let, I have not gotten this card before, so I need to quickly look up with this card's um definition is but let's see here Alrighty, so this is the 12 of earth essential and um she is loyal to you she is there to serve you to serve your higher purpose to help guide you again she's holding these keys here so if you ever are like losing like touch with your higher self or your higher purpose she's basically like she's pretty much there to help you remember your true pr purpose which is healing your true purpose is healing others healing yourself um being a guide for others and um holding this this key to this ace of keys 
keys here, right? And holding this um, uh, Ace of Wands um, to uh, better align yourself with your real, your true purpose. And I see um, good things coming your way. I see prosperity coming your way. I see healing coming your way. I see faith coming your way. I see you being able to overcome your obstacles through the like art of perception here, being able to per perceive things in a higher way, um, on a higher conscious level here. Um, so this is what the essential is here to do. Okay. Um, the sensual of earth symbolizes the service to king and country. Um, the sensual is trusted servant who has access to and control over all within his Lord's domain. He, while being of noble blood himself, is in service to and speaks for the one above him. So again, it's it could be a, per, a man in your life um, that is helping you and helping you guide you. Um, or it could be a woman. Again, uh, it could be just gender fluid here. Okay. But either way, this person in your life is helping you hold these keys, helping you uh, align yourself with your purpose. And, and yeah, it's good. It's all good things all coming up for you. Um, and we have here, um, the ninth card signifies hopes and fears. This is good because what are your hopes and fears, right, Scorpio? So we have the king of pentacles. So again, the sensual, it's so interesting because the sensual.